Hey guys, I have four rack style lithium iron phosphate batteries here, all of which have been reviewed recently on this channel. I'm getting ready to connect them up in the solar shed, but before I do that, I thought this would be a good opportunity to stack them up here and do a bit of comparison amongst them. Now these are all great batteries that I think will last for many years to come. However, like anything else, there are some preferred models and some not so preferred models. And it may come down a little bit to personal preference, personal opinion. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we got. We have the Life Power 4 by EG4. We have the Sun Gold Power. We have the basic version of the SOK. And we have the Rogsu. So the first point to talk about is voltage. And uh, you may be thinking, oh, they're all 48 volt batteries. They're all the same, right? Well, that's not necessarily the case. Each of these batteries contains 16 cells at 3.2 volts nominal each. That gives you a total nominal voltage of 51.2 volts. They're not technically 48 volt batteries, but they do fit in the generalized term 48 volt battery category. But here's the problem. There are a number of manufacturers out there producing these rack batteries with only 15 cells. Now that gives you exactly 48 volts nominal. So that's technically correct. They are 48 volt batteries. Um, however, they are different from the rack batteries that actually contain 16 cells. And all of these batteries I have here are 16 cell, 51.2 volts. However, I just feel it's an important point to make when you're looking to purchase one of these rack batteries to make sure you know what you're getting and you don't get mixed up since they're all called 48 volt batteries and they're not technically exactly the same. And honestly, I cannot understand why some of these companies are doing this aside from maybe they don't understand the voltage profile of lithium iron phosphate you know, or they're just reducing a cell to make it 15 cells to shave off a few dollars and lower the price. The next topic to touch on is choice of cells. The EG4, the Ruxu, and the SOK all contain GFB cells. GFB has built themselves an outstanding reputation in the, the solar battery marketplace here, and we're starting to see them more and more, which I really like because they are very reliable cells. The Sun Gold Power, well, we're still not technically sure what cells they are using. Uh, the QR code on them is very generic. I have not directly asked the manufacturer what they're using and nobody has come forward to tell me. So as far as I know, they're just generic cells. That's not exactly to say it's a bad thing. Furthermore, the EG4, the Ruxu, and the SOK are all using bus bars designed to give a little bit, you know, to reduce the force being put on the terminals of the battery. They have that little hump in the middle. The aluminum can expand and contract as needed. The Sun Gold Power, well, they're using the flat, rigid bus bars that can't really bend at all. Connection points. The SOK and the Ruxu are the leaders in this category for me. The SOK has these very large bolts, which can pretty much accommodate your cables going in any direction, and you can stack multiple cable lugs on the terminal if needed. That does, however, leave a lot of metal exposed, both on the terminal itself and the uh, cable lug that you need to figure out how to cover up. You could get silicone covers for that. You could 3D print stuff. Uh, you know, all of those which add cost to your project. The Ruxu is using these Amphenol style connectors. They are simply push on connectors. Your cable fits tightly in place. They're very easy to assemble and all of the exposed metal is covered up. That way there's no accidental shorts or accidental contact with anything else. It's great for ease of use, but it does require you to hunt down some of those specialized connectors or pay a premium for the pre-made cables. Uh, versus just buying some simple cable lugs. The EG4 has these terminal blocks here which allow your cable to connect in the upward or downward orientation. Uh, it does work. I can fit up to a one knot sized lug on there. I know some people have asked that question. one knot does fit, but it is a bit tight and snug to get it in there. Uh, the terminals do work well, but they do feel a bit cheap and plasticky to me. Then there's the Sun Gold battery, which has very similar terminals, but they face out the left and the right, and I do not like that design at all. I don't like that your cables has to be exiting the side of the battery. Um, that makes it very difficult to put two batteries next to one another because if I were to have a cable coming out the right side of this battery, I would not be able to have this SOK battery here. I would have to leave probably, you know, five, six inches or more of space between them just to accommodate that cable exiting the battery and the required bend radius of that cable. Certifications. Ruxu is ETL listed to UL 1973 standards and they claim to be working on 9540. The EG4 is UL listed to UL 1973. The Sun Gold Power does not have any certifications and the SOK does not have any certifications. Now SOK does have a pro version of that battery and the pro version does carry an ETL certification to UL 1973. And they've also told me they're very close to having UL 9540 on that battery as well. However, the base version we have here does not have any certifications. Make sure to check the certification of the battery you're purchasing. The company should be able to provide some sort of certificate or documentation to prove the certification they have. This is a very basic point that's often difficult to figure out for some reason. Many of these companies say their battery have UL listing when in fact it's just the cells that have the UL listing and there's no listing on the battery as a whole. There are some companies that say their battery is UL approved and it's actually ETL tested 
which is still just as good. ETL is just as good as UL because ETL is testing to the UL standards. However, ETL certified is not the same thing as UL listed. This is a clear distinction that some of these companies need to make. It's either ETL certified to an appropriate standard, it's UL listed to an appropriate standard, or it's TUV certified to an appropriate standard and it's the battery as a whole or the cells in the battery. It's not the entire battery just because the cells have some arbitrary listing. Serviceability. The SOK battery is the only one here that is designed to be user serviceable at the instruction of the manufacturer. You can easily replace individual cells, you can replace the BMS, other components within the case, or if you determine your battery is at end of life, you can recycle it or repurpose the cells, rebuild it. The EG4, the Sungle Power, and the Ruxu cannot be disassembled. The batteries are laser welded together and there's no way to get them apart without cutting those aluminum bus bar strips, which then makes it very difficult to reattach new cables or new bus bars. Both build methods do have merit, but considering I like to constantly tinker with things, I like the ability to disassemble it if I so choose in the future. User support. This is one topic that a lot of people ask, and rightfully so. You need to know what kind of you know, customer support you're dealing with and whether or not they're going to stand behind their warranty. Unfortunately, it's one that's difficult for me to personally answer because unless I have an actual issue arise and I have to reach out to the manufacturer or I stage issues just to kind of test their response time, I don't really have a good way to gauge the level of support they're going to provide. Now I can provide input based on some of the community feedback and just some of the interactions I've had. So I think SOK is going to take the prize in this category or more specifically Current Connected, their authorized seller repair center and the company that has helped them design this rack mount battery. I don't think there's been a single negative complaint I've heard about Current Connected not related to shipping, warranty issues or anything like that. All of my personal interactions have all been addressed very quickly. Any questions I've asked or things of that nature. EG4 or Signature Solar is about neutral. I've heard some good things. I've heard some bad things. I don't have any personal experience there. Ruxu is fairly new to the rack mount battery space. So I think it's a bit early to determine how they're going to provide support. Uh, I haven't really heard one way or the other. I haven't heard anything negative, but I also haven't heard overwhelming positive support. Sun Gold Power, well, a lot of people do like their inverters and batteries, but I hear a lot more complaints about them from people than I do the other three manufacturers. It's typically about not honoring warranties, not shipping, and not meeting advertised criteria. Um, I've not personally had any problems with them. That's just a lot of feedback I've been receiving is people saying they're ordering these batteries and they're either back ordered for a month or two without notifying the customer before they place the order, or they're just not shipping by the date they're supposed to be. And along those lines, uh, EG4 and Signature Solar, along with Current Connected, are US entities. So those two do have a presence in the United States. Pricing. This one becomes a bit difficult to evaluate because each of these companies have their own promotions. Some offer local pickup, some offer free shipping, some offer combined volume discounts or other benefits when you meet a certain criteria. So the fairest way I could think to evaluate this is I placed one battery in my cart, calculated shipping to my zip code, and I think that's how most people are gonna buy them. Probably one battery, maybe a couple of batteries. And I did not include sales tax because that's going to vary depending on where you're at and your method of pickup. So uh, I've got a little sticky note to read off because it's difficult to remember these numbers. The EG4 came in at $1,409. The SOK came in at $1,629. The Sun Gold Power came in at $1,238. And the Ruxu came in at $1,599. So the Sun Gold Power is clearly the cheapest in that category. I then went and put four batteries in each cart because sometimes, you know, combined shipping and volume discounts could play a factor. So with four batteries in your cart, the EG4 comes to $1,297 per battery. The SOK comes to $1,404 per battery. The Sun Gold Power comes down to $1,200 per battery. And the Ruxu comes down to $1,299 per battery. So with four batteries, the EG4 and the Ruxu are very close in terms of price, if not exactly the same, but the Sun Gold Power is still the cheapest at $1,200. So in conclusion, these are all great batteries, some more than others, but the Ruxu is the front runner for my personal favorite. With these batteries being so similar, we're really starting to get down to nitpicking details just for the sake of finding differences in comparing. I like that the Ruxu is more energy dense. It takes up a smaller amount of space in the rack. Uh, the case just feels a lot more solid when you're picking it up and moving it around. Some things I don't like though, I don't like that it doesn't have a circuit breaker, and I don't like that you cannot remove these rack ears without also removing those handles. Like I said, these three all have the same cells, and I'm not saying the Sun Gold Power is bad, there's just a lot of unknowns, and I've been receiving a lot of feedback on their customer service that I just can't ignore because I'm not receiving it from the other three manufacturers. Additionally, uh, I, I don't know that they are shipping correctly per the 
shipping regulations for lithium iron phosphate batteries. As always, please let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button before you go, and thanks for watching.